and welcome back to our channel. So in this video, let's discuss how to manage cash basis taxes in Odoo 14 account. So the cash basis taxes are due only when the payment has been done and not at the validation of the invoice. So reporting your income or expenses to the administration based on this method, that is cash basis method, is legal in some countries and under some conditions. So first, let's configure cash basis taxes. For that, go to accounting and go to configuration settings. Okay, there you can see a uh, feature under taxes that is cash basis. So this allows to configure taxes using cash basis. And here you have to set a tax cash basis journal. So I have already enabled this option and set a journal that is cash basis taxes. So you have to select this if you use cash basis. So this will create an entry for such taxes on a given account during reconciliation. So once it is done, save the settings. Uh, so in my system, I've already saved, set this and save. Now let's go to configuration. There we have our taxes. So open a tax. So here I, you can see IGST 2 percentage. Okay, now edit this one. And here under advanced options, you can see an option to set tax due. Uh, so you can see two options. One is based on invoice and other one is based on payment. So if you set the first one, then tax is due as soon as the invoice is validated. But in the second case, the tax is due only as soon as the payment of the invoice is received. That is when register payment is done. So let's check the first second case that is based on payment. So when you choose this, you can have to set cash basis transition account that is used to uh, transition the tax amount for cash basis taxes. And so I have created a temporary tax, temporary tax account. So it will contain the tax amount as long as the original invoice has not been reconciled. So at reconcil reconciliation, this amount uh, canceled on this account and put on the regular tax account. So here you can see the regular tax account. So before reconciliation, it will be uh, added posted in this account. That is after invoice confirmation. So now let's save this. Now let's check what is the impact of this cash basis taxes on accounting. So uh, taxes IST 2 percentage. For this we have set tax due as based on payment. Now let's create a customer invoice. Okay, select a product. Okay, here we can find the income account, local sales. And here you can see taxes. So, so now I'm closing this and adding my tax that is IGST 2 percentage. Okay, now we can save this invoice and confirm it. Now when you check the tax reporting, you can see no entries created. Now when you check journal entries, Or a filter so here you can find our tax invoice that is our customer invoice okay now 
register the payment. Okay, you can see this is in payment because the reconciliation is not done. Okay, and you can see general items. Here we can find the temporary tax account. So, in which we can view 15 is credited. So, instead of, instead of this tax account, this temporary tax account is taken. That is, amount this tax amount is posted in this account. Now, let's reconcile this payment. That is, this invoice with bank statement. For that, let's come back to our dashboard and here we can create a bank statement. Okay, so provide the reference, customizable desk. And here we can select the journal, the journal date, then here we can add the transaction. Okay, then you can choose a partner, then the total amount. Okay, so you can see the ending balance, computer balance is 30. Uh, because before it was negative 735, so you can update it to 30. And now we can post it. So make sure that you have updated the ending balance. Then after that, you can uh, reconcile this. Okay, you can see automatically the invoice is added. So now we can click on validate. So reconciliation is done. Okay, now we can validate it. Okay, now when you check the entry, that is the invoice that we have created. You can see the amount is paid because we have reconciled. Okay, here we can see an entry is created. Okay, we can see the amount is uh, posted in this IEST payable account as we have done the payment. Okay, now we can check our accounting entries. Okay, here we can see an entry. So when you open it, Okay, you can view the entries in journal cash basis taxes. Here we can view the journal items that is local sales, then IGST payable, and here we can find our temporary tax account. So now an amount is debited. And you can see in this account IGST payable, an amount is credited. Now let's check the second case, that is we can see the difference. So for that, let's choose another tax, that is IGST 20 percentage. So here, let's set tax due as based on invoice itself. Okay, so let's create customer invoice.
So I'm setting the tax IGST 20 percentage. Now let's confirm the invoice. Okay, now when you check the tax report, you can see the tax is reported after validating the invoice. So here you can see a new entry is created. Here you can see that. You can see account affected IGST payable. And when you check journal entries, you can see the account affect is IGST payable. That is our tax account. So taxes are reported at the validation of invoice. So this is a difference. So that's all about managing cash basis taxes in Odo 40.